What's up guys, my name's Alex, welcome to the Bug Out Life YouTube channel. What's up guys, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna show you guys how I turned this old, rundown, dirty trailer into this beautiful off-road bedroom on wheels. So if that's something you're interested in, stick around and see how I did it. If you guys haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna do a 1,000 subscriber giveaway and I've finally finalized the giveaway prize. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video to find that out. So a couple of years ago now, I bought this old trailer behind me. It started life as a go-kart trailer and it was in pretty bad shape when I picked it up. What I did is I fully restored and renovated it and I turned it into an off-road camper trailer with a full queen bed and a kitchen in the back. A little while ago now, I did take it apart to make some changes and modifications to it. And unfortunately, I didn't get around to doing that. So it's pretty much sat there in pieces for quite a while and it needs some love and attention. So in today's video, we're gonna fully restore it again, get it back up to a good standard and then we're gonna put it up for sale. What I wanna do first is I wanna show you guys pretty much how it's sitting now, what we need to fix, and then I'll go back and I'll show you guys how it started out, the process to where it is now, and then from there, we'll fix it up and we'll get it up for sale. As you guys can see from those few clips there, this thing is definitely a bit worse for wear and needs some TLC. Believe it or not, when I first picked it up, it was in even worse condition. It wasn't even a camper trailer. So let's rewind back to that day I picked it up. I'll then show you guys a bit of a photo collage of the build up until now, and then we'll crack on to getting this thing back up to scratch. So as you guys can see here, this thing started out pretty rusty and beat up, and it definitely needed some attention. So let's get that done. All right, so we started out by pulling out all the rotten wood, all the rotten steel, and then we started placing some new steel floorboards down to support the floor. We then put our stabilizer legs in each corner and got those welded in. From there, we put our new floor in and we sealed up all the cracks. It was then time to put our new mud guards on and get ready for some new tires. We went to the tire shop, got some nice off-road wheels there, and then we put our windows in and our roof vent to get some airflow. From there, it was time to add our new walls in. We did those in timber and we put polyester insulation on the inside. We ran all of our wiring and our lights to make sure that they were right before we sealed everything up. That's the first look at our mattress in there, nice and cozy. We then went and added marine carpet on all the walls to give it a bit of a nice warm feel and made sure everything fit right, starting to look pretty good. It was then time to get into the kitchen. We put a nice bench there, some cabinets, and then we started looking at our power system as well. It was then time to build a new back door because the old one was super rusted. Here's a look at our back door working perfectly with the gas struts. We made this with aluminium composite panel, but we painted that later down the track. We then went back into our kitchen, put some shelving in, and then we started looking at the cupboard inside of our bedroom area. That's just a cheap cupboard from Bunnings. Here's a first look at our bedroom pretty much complete. We then got invited to a camping trip, so we had to get this thing painted so I didn't have to drive it around green. Here's that all complete the night before. It did rain on us, but it was still a fantastic time. This is the first time we took it to the beach. It performed perfectly. There were a couple of things that we wanted to change, and we made those changes afterwards, but it definitely served the purpose for the first trip. As you can see, it's all set up here comfortably. We had the barbecue set up. We then went home and started to make some changes. And the first one was lengthening the drawbar. We then painted the camper. We ended up painting this in bully liner, which is pretty much Raptor coat, but it's a bit cheaper, but still serves the purpose. We stripped it all down, sanded it all back, so we made sure we did a proper job. Now, if you guys are thinking about using a product like this or something similar like Raptor coat, make sure you either put some plastic down on the ground first or you wet the ground first so it doesn't stick so bad because this stuff was an absolute nightmare to clean up. Make sure you also do it outside because it'll just go all over your garage or your workshop if you're doing it inside. From there, we reassembled everything and put our accessories back on and this camp was pretty much ready to go. And this is how you see it today. Well, minus a couple changes. All right, we're back now and I hope that gave you guys a bit of an insight on how we got the trailer to where it is now. 
I said it's enough of the boring photos and videos. Let's get straight into restoring this trailer. And I reckon we start at the front on that hitch plate. Stick around. So a quick update for you guys. We did weld the plate to that trailer there. Unfortunately, I forgot to hit play on the camera. So we missed out on seeing that welding done. The flapper discs aren't really working for me right now. They're pretty worn out. So I'm gonna quickly run to the shop, grab a couple new ones because I don't have any here and then we'll crack back into it. All right, so that hitch plate's all welded on, grinded down and painted. While we wait for that to dry, we're gonna get into the wiring here. Alright guys, we're moving right along and making some great progress here. What we've done so far is we've welded that new hitch plate on the front there, ground that all back, we've bolted our hitch to that. We've also fixed the light at the back of the uh, trailer here. From here, we need to have a look at attacking the inside, we need to repaint the back kitchen area, and then we need to glue all of the carpet back onto the walls. Let's get that done. So note to self guys, don't leave your paint tins out in the rain because they are not waterproof whatsoever. That paint that I have there is completely destroyed, it's full of water. So let's quickly run to the shop, get some new paint. While we're there, we're also gonna get some new bully liner for the draw bar so we can repaint that and then we'll get to painting. All right, so we're back, we got our new paint. It's a slightly different color, so I think we'll just repaint the whole thing, but it shouldn't be a big drama, so let's get into it. there we have it guys our kitchen is all fully painted and we didn't make too much mess which is always good what i think we'll do now is we'll go and do some touch-up painting on the actual frame itself and then we'll start looking at gluing that carpet on the inside So I think I can confidently say that all the painting is done. We've done the touch-up painting on the frame here. We've painted our kitchen again. All that's left now is some assembly. So what we need to do is we need to assemble the hitch back together. We need to assemble the kitchen. And then we just need to get that carpet glued on the inside. And that's pretty much this project done. We're moving slowly but surely. We're making some good progress. So keep watching. have it guys this kitchen is all put back together and ready to go i did notice a bit of damage to one of the drawers there i think it got a bit of sparks thrown at it in the garage there so not a big deal i'll source one of those and replace it i think we'll move on to the inside get that carpet all stuck up and this project will be over
All right, guys, there you have it. That is this project done and dusted. Took a couple hard days of work, but it paid off in the end. It's looking absolutely fantastic, and it's ready for its next camping trip. If you guys would like to purchase this camper, please send me an email. It will go up for sale soon, and I'll put an ad on Facebook as well. Like I said at the start of the video, I'm going to do a quick cost breakdown of what it costs to make something like this. So the actual trailer itself at the very start cost me just shy of $1,000, which is probably a little bit too much, but it was a really good foundation to start with. All the extras and accessories I put into it cost me right around $3,300 to $3,400. So that's a total price of right around $4,400 to make something like this. If you guys are looking to do a project like this, you can probably budget for right around that. Obviously, it depends on how much the camper or the actual trailer costs you at the start. With all that being said, it's time now to do our announcement for our 1,000 subscriber giveaway prize. So the prize for this giveaway is gonna be some items from Chaos. They're a four x four shop here, uh, just down the road from me. They make some quality equipment. So we're gonna throw in a shackle and hitch receiver recovery kit. So that goes into the back of your rear tow bar and it allows you to pull people out or get pulled out if you're stuck. We're also gonna add in a lockable hitch pin as well so no one can steal that from you. We're also gonna throw in a couple of these awning hanger clips. These are really handy for hanging up your bags or your rubbish bags so the animals can't get to them. We're also gonna add in a merch pack from my company, Bug Out Off-Road Campers. We'll throw in a shirt, a hat, some stubby coolers, and some stickers. So I think that's a pretty good prize for our 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Make sure you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to get the chance to win these prizes here. Doesn't matter what country you're in, I will send them straight to your door. All that being said, guys, that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. If you guys haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this content, please let me know in the comments below and I'll start doing some more of it. That's it from me, peace.